Okay, if our iPhone stays in its uh, semi hokey jig, I'm going to go inside and operate the clutch pedal. And I tell people it takes very little travel, very little travel. See if I can fit my finger down in here. At this plunger right here, maybe an eighth of an inch, to fully disengage the diaphragm spring, including the free play. Now let's go over here and use our fingers to apply the clutch and see if we can see the travel. There's the free play. You see it just lifts it. And then there's the full travel. Free play. Full travel back to the carpet. We'll see how that looks. By the way, this is just an old iPhone. This is even before they thought the letter S was cooled out onto them. Let's see if you can see how I do this. There's usually two big 15 16 nuts on here. One is a big dome shaped thing and then a jam nut. I don't know, these are left over from something, but I tell people you can just toss those. And in fact, if the engine's out of the car, you can cut off that threaded piece which comes out to here usually. And that just boogers up this whole fender when you're installing the engine. So give yourself a bit more room. Get rid of those useless things that mess up people's adjustments all the time. And dial in the linkage simply as we've explained it here. And you can't go wrong. I like the Preverto setup. It's got much better pedal feel and a lot less wear and movement on the components down here. Wow, our color looks good in the sunlight. I don't know about our exposure in there, but...